Okay, cool. Well, welcome everyone. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot them out or um, you can, I think there's a reactions thing at the bottom of your um, bar. And so if you wanna do like a thumbs up or something, we can call on you and, and answer a question you might have throughout this presentation. So you might be wondering like what exactly Woodring is when we say the word um, Woodring. Oh, this is great. It tells me when someone is waiting. Sorry. Um, uh, so does anyone have an idea? Who can give me the, who can take a guess as to the difference between a university and a college? Does anyone want to guess? Um, no. There are several colleges within a university. So yeah. yeah, so for those that didn't hear, so Western Washington University can, is comprised of seven different colleges. So one of those colleges is the Woodring College of Education. And so when we talk about teacher education and how it fits specifically within Western, colleges. just know that um, there's a separate application process tied to entering one of our programs. So just because you've been admitted into Western doesn't exactly <laughs> mean that you've been admitted into one of our programs. So with that, um, it's very likely that throughout your time here, um, you might not start off initially in our programs. You might be transferring with some credit, no credit, you might be tra transferring in with an AA. And so when you start our program, we'll largely depend on, on that. So um, when we talk about our program specifically, um, well, that zoomed in really closely. <laughs> um, we offer an early childhood program. That program's designed to certify you to teach the grades uh, preschool through third grade. Um, we have an elementary education program that's is, uh, designed to certify you to teach kindergarten through eighth grade. We have a secondary education program that's designed to give you essentially certification to teach a specific subject at the high school level. So those grades will range fifth grade through 12th grade. And then we also have a special education program, which is a, a dual endorsement program and you'll be able, you'll get certified to teach special education as well as elementary education or a content area within secondary education. So all of our special education programs lead to multiple endorsements to teach. Um, can anyone, uh, I've realized I've been using the word endorsement. Can anyone guess the difference between a major and an endorsement? Any thoughts? If, if not, don't worry. There are people that are in our programs that wouldn't be able to answer this question. So it's a tough one. So a major is what's listed on your diploma. It's what Western Washington gives you. It's uh, um, essentially um, what you ultimately decide to take here at Western and what will be listed on your diploma. An endorsement is what's listed on your teaching license, and it's what designates what grade levels and subject areas you're able to teach in the state of Washington. So you can have one major here at Western that will lead to multiple endorsements, and that's um, something we'll cover later on um, as well when we talk about majors and how they fit in here. Um, at Woodring, we also offer a human services program. We have a Department of Human Services, and that might be an, a program some of you may be interested in if you're maybe interested in working in social work, um, stuff like that. So that's um, something that um, uh, if you're interested in doing it and maybe not specifically teaching in a K-12 setting, uh, we do have programs available to you that, that way as well. Any questions up to this point? Okay. So, as I mentioned before, how do majors fit in here at Western? So, um, oh, thanks, Daisy. That's helpful. Um, so, for early childhood, which uh, gets you to endorse to teach 
preschool through third grade, we have a specific major, a Bachelor's of Arts in Education, or Bay, <laughs> another way to use Bay, um, uh, in early childhood. Our elementary education program, which leads to an endorsement to teach kindergarten through eighth grade, we have a number of what we call program aligned majors. So there's a number of different majors that you can declare that will ultimately lead to you getting endorsed to teach elementary education. Similarly, uh, for secondary education, we have many what we call endorsement aligned majors. So essentially, you'll major in the content area that you're hoping to teach at the high school level. So say, for example, you're interested in teaching math at the high school level. You would major in our BS in math for secondary education. Similarly, if you wanted to say teach English, you'd major in English language arts for secondary education. So does that make sense? You wouldn't major in secondary education, you wouldn't major in elementary education, but you'd major in certain programs that are designed to lead into those programs. Does that make sense? I recognize this can be really confusing, um, which is why um, we're here for you and I really hope that um, y'all take the time to set up an appointment with us because we'd be really happy to kind of speak with you individually and kind of talk about your own specific educational journey and what that might look like here. Um, similarly to ed early child education, if you're interested in teaching special education, you would uh, have a BAE in special education. Um, so for some content areas, um, it would be, you'd be majoring essentially in the same the same name as what your endorsement will ultimately be, but for others, it won't be the case. So um, does it make sense for everyone? Do we have any questions around that at all? Okay, cool. And we'll leave time at the very end if you have any specific questions that you wanna ask. Oh, so um, what are some of our basic requirements? So who here has taken the SAT or the ACT? Okay, cool. If you've done so, then you've already met the basic skills requirement for our program. You just need to have attempted the SAT or the ACT, so that's pretty sweet. All of our programs have a GPA requirement. We all require at least a 2.75 GPA requirement. For our master's in teaching, which is our a program specifically for our secondary education program, um, the GPA requirement is a 3.0. So um, kind of what we, we recommend is aim for kind of a B or better in your classes here at Western and then um, you won't have to worry too much about your GPA and that requirement tied to our programs. Just know that don't let that requirement kind of deter you from applying as well. Um, we do accept students that may not have exactly a 2.75 GPA. So if you're a little bit lower than that, we do take into account your last 45 credits. Um, um, so if you've been doing really well the past couple quarters, um, then we do take that into account and, and that can factor into you getting into our program. So um, I would- May I also say something real quick, Peter? Um, <laughs> I think that's also why um, we are super excited to be here with you is because we want you to um, ask us questions and or take our information down so if you if this is you or you are in this situation you can always connect with maddie peter or myself um, and we can help you quote unquote strengthen your application not only to western but into our wood ring programs yeah in no way uh as a program, are we trying to prevent people who want to be teachers to be teachers? So if, right. if you have a career goal, a life goal of becoming a teacher, we're gonna do whatever we can in our power to try and help you accomplish that goal. So, uh, so please, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, our faculty, um, our program staff, because we're gonna do whatever we can to try and support you into attaining your goal of becoming a teacher. Um, thanks, Daisy. That's a really important thing to remind us about. Um, uh, so a 2.75 GPA, all of our programs require English 101. Um, some of you may have already taken English 1, 
101 if you're transferring in credit. If not, English 101 is going to be a class that you have to take as a freshman anyways. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about that requirement either. And then finally, um, all of our programs require 45 or more credits. For our elementary education program, we require at least 75 credits. So some of you might be asking the question, well, what classes are we taking that's not part of our program that leads to us being able to get those 45 credits? So at Western, we have something called GURs, or General University Requirements. I recognize that you might be familiar with this already, so if so, I'm sorry. But essentially, GURs, or General University Requirements, are something that we kind of require all students who will graduate from Western to have. Um, they cover a wide range of different subject areas from math to science to social sciences to humanities. Essentially, GUR is a really great way to kind of identify maybe what specific area you want to major in, what specific area you want to, uh, I already said major in, but that's the biggest one. <laughs> so um, that is something that you'll likely be doing your your freshman year, um, uh, taking all those GUR credits. If you are transferring in a lot of credit or say transfer, you're running start and you're transferring in with an AA, then it's very possible that you'll have more than 75 credits or 45 credits, that you've met all your GUR requirements, and it is possible that you might just be starting right away in your major here. If you are in that situation or you're not maybe not even sure what situation you're in, another great reason to book an appointment with us because we can pull up your file, see where you're at and let you know kind of where you're at in terms of what classes you might wanna be taking your first, first quarter here, et cetera. Uh, uh, who here loves math? Okay, better question, who here hates math? <laughs> no, so just know that um, our elementary, early childhood, and special education programs do have a math requirement. We require uh, intermediate college algebra, uh, which is Math 112 here at Western, or another thing you could do is take the math placement exam and get a, a 45 or higher. The math placement assessment is an online assessment that you can take um, at your computer. Um, I definitely recommend uh, if you're not transferring in credit for intermediate college algebra to take that math placement test. Um, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to spend a few hours doing that than taking, you know, potentially one or two courses before you meet that intermediate college algebra uh, requirement here. Um, so if you do suffer anxiety around math or you have questions about the math requirement, there are some kind of pro tips that we have or suggestions that you might want to utilize instead of kind of going a, a, the traditional route of taking math classes until Math 112 here at Western. So um, please, if you do have anxiety or questions around math and you are interested in elementary, early childhood, or special education, um, that's another really good reason to set up an appointment with us because we can talk about kind of the different options you might have around math uh, that might be easier than, than kind of going a traditional route of taking all the math classes until you get to Math 112. Any questions up to this point? Okay, I'll keep on rolling. So some of you might have the question, you know, well, if I have to apply to, to Woodring, when, it, when do I actually apply? So kind of as we mentioned before, um, our programs require at least 45 credits, and we sort of prefer that all of your GUI requirements are completed for any of our programs. So um, typically, um, for our special education, early childhood, and elementary education programs, you're, if you're not transferring any credit in, you're usually gonna be starting in our programs around the beginning to halfway through your sophomore year. And your freshman year, you'll be taking all your GUR courses, uh, maybe getting started towards some of your major coursework, stuff like that. Uh, so um, that's typically when you're going to be applying to our program, either the 
the beginning of your sophomore year, maybe halfway through your sophomore year, depending on how many credits you have. For our secondary education program, you won't start in our program until your final year here at Western. So essentially what you'll do is you'll, you'll do your GURs and then you're gonna declare your major in the specific area that you wanna teach. So let's say, for example, English language arts. So then you'll declare your major in English, age, English language arts for secondary education. You'll take all the classes uh, on English that you'll need in order to become an English teacher. And then your final year, you'll take our secondary education program that will teach you how to teach. And so essentially you can package that as part of your undergraduate degree, or you could potentially do the secondary program as a master's degree. So um, that can potentially be confusing as well. So if you have questions around that on when to apply for secondary education or uh, the benefits of, of the master's degree or the undergraduate degree, what makes sense for you as an individual, um, another good reason to set up an appointment with us uh, because it really is something that's kind of an, a case-by-case -case basis on what's a better fit for, for the student on doing it as part of their undergraduate degree or maybe as a master's degree. Does that make sense? Okay. Any questions at all? Yeah, I have a question for the oh. elementary level. Mm -hmm. You guys offer a master's for that as well, is that correct? Uh, we do not offer a master's degree for elementary education. Okay. So all of our all of our programs that lead to elementary education are packaged as part of an undergraduate degree. Okay. Um, we do have a master's degree um, in literacy that's designed to get you an additional endorsement in reading, um, but it is for typically for certified teachers. Um, okay. If, if you're a student who's motivated to get a master's degree, um, then that's definitely something we can talk about in terms of career planning and educational planning on an appointment basis as well, because there are a lot of master's degrees out there that um, are designed for certified teachers that will enhance their practice. Um, they'll be designed to help them get their national boards. They'll be designed to help them add an endorsement to their license, stuff like that. So um, if, if you do have a individual goal of, of getting your, your master's degree, then definitely, um, definitely talk with us because we can talk about the different options available to you. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for the question. Why does it keep zooming? Yeah. So um, I'd say it's, I'm really grateful that all of you are here um, today and it shows that you're interested in becoming a teacher and it's something that you're passionate about and something that you want to do. And so we definitely rec recommend sketching out a timeline for your educational journey, kind of understanding when you're going to be taking your GURs, when is going to be the best time for you to apply to our program and really map out how long it's going to take you to finish your grad undergraduate degree, graduate and get certified. And so um, what you might be noticing as a theme throughout this presentation is to definitely not hesitate to ask for help um, because that's what uh, Maddie, Daisy and I are kind of paid to do is to support you and um, all of our students. And so we really hope that um, we can spend some time together getting to know each other, uh, getting to kind of identify what you're hoping to accomplish while you're here at Western and to make sure that you're not wasting time or money when you're here. Um, and I'm just really grateful that y'all are here on this kind of virtual webinar um, because um, you could have not done that. And, and I miss seeing students. <laughs> it's like the best part of our job. <laughs> I'm just stuck here with my dog. Ugh, no, but um, I'll show you my dog here in a little bit too. Um, so, some next steps. Um, one thing we definitely recommend is um, when you're able to uh, volunteer with kids, specifically kids or students in the grade range that you're hoping to work with. Um, some of you might be sitting there being like, I've always wanted to be an elementary education teacher. 
but then you'll maybe spend some time with fourth graders and be like, oh my God, I hate fourth graders. And that's really important to identify before you, you know, go through a whole program and get certified. So um, the more time and experience you can work with youth, especially in an educational setting, that experience is always going to be valuable to you um, in your goals of becoming a teacher. Um, if you are interested in elementary education, special education, or early childhood education, definitely try to stay up on your math skills until you've at least gotten a 45 on your math placement assessment, um, or you've taken math uh, intermediate college algebra. And then finally, um, surprise, surprise, we recommend that you set up an appointment to meet with, with an advisor, either myself, Daisy, or Maddie. And our info is right here. Again, Maddie is our admissions counselor, and her info is right there. Daisy is our senior consultant for diversity recruitment and retention. Her information's there. And last and surely the least is myself uh, and my contact information there as well. You can, and again, um, in our chat, um, I sent the link that you can set up an online appointment with me. Um, and we can either have a, an appointment over the phone, we can have a one-on-one -on -one appointment over Zoom, uh, whatever is your preference, just let me know. Um, and so that's the end of, of my live webinar. I hope that um, uh, I did an okay job. <laughs> uh, Eddie, come here. Come on. So um, now's the time for if you guys have questions, we can answer those. Um, and like there are, there's no such thing as a stupid question because it's a crazy, crazy time right now. So just let us know. Um, you know, if you have any questions.